Today we're going to talk about volume of cylinders. Now we've talked about volume before. Remember volume is equal to big B times H, where big B is in fact the area of the base shape. So because we're going to be talking about cylinders, that area is going to be area of a circle, which we know to be pi r squared. Remember this is always the height of our prism. So if I draw a cylinder, let's see, I don't actually have a cylinder picture on here, so I will just draw by hand. We can say, let's start simple, we'll start with a radius of three inches and a height of five inches. Now, when we look at this, remember we originally talked about, you know, shade that base shape, that's going to be our big B. So I'm going to plug my numbers in to my formula. So V equals big BH. And in place of big B, I'm going to write pi r squared. And I can go ahead and bring my H down. Now, none of my numbers are multiple of 7. So I'm going to stick with 3.14 times 3 times 3. Remember, squared means times itself times 5. Now, pi is dessert. Save it for last. So what I mean by that is go ahead and multiply all your other numbers. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 5 I know is 45. And then I can come over here and do my math. Because if you wait and do pi at the end, you're only moving your decimal one time. 20, carry the 2, that's a 7. 15, placeholder, 16, 5, 12. 0, 3, carry the 1 is 11. Carry the 1 is 4. And 1, 1, 2. One, two. So I can say the volume of this cylinder is 141.3 or 0 .30 inches cubed. Remember, volume is units cubed because it is going to be a three-dimensional object. Now, if I go ahead and I gave you another one, this is where some of you were messing up with your area of cylinders. So if I gave you a cylinder, I'm going to make this one a little tall. Now I'm going to give you a diameter. I'm going to tell you this diameter is in fact 8, we'll go with centimeters. And now maybe we have a height of 20 centimeters. So this is still my base shape here. But because I've been given a diameter in our formula, I come over here, remember we always write our formula, big B H. And in place of big B, I'm putting pi r squared. I'm going to go ahead and bring my h down. I need a radius. Some of you were using diameter, in fact, when you needed to use radius the other day. Remember, radius is half of diameter, so half of 8 is 4. Still no multiples of 7, so 3.14 times 4 times 4, and my height is 20. So again, pi is dessert, save it for last. So 4 times 4 is 16 times 20. Well, 16 times 2 is 22, and I can put my 0 on the end. Now I can go ahead and multiply by 3.14. I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and put my 0 placeholder so I don't have to worry about my zeros. 4 times 2 is 8, 2 times 1 is 2, 3 times 2 is 6. Now I have two placeholders. 12 carry the 1 is 4, 3 times 3 is 9, 0, 8, 4, 10 carry the 1, 10, 1, 2, 1, 2. And the volume of this cylinder is 1,004.8 or 0.80 centimeters cubed. So let's look at a couple of more. So here I have on number three, notice I have a diameter. So my radius would be nine. So when I write my formula, big B H pi r squared H, I know I'm going to have to use 
3.14 times 9 times 9 times 6. And I'm going to let you go ahead and, and solve that one. And then um, at the end, after you've done all your work, um, you can all have the answers for you. Again, on number 5, this is the diameter. So the radius is 6. So we're going to plug in big BH, pi r squared h, 3.14 times 6 times 6 times 8.6. Be careful with your decimals there. And again, we have a diameter. So you need to make sure you write radius. Hopefully you got some answers for number three. So you can see we had set it up together. You should have gotten a volume of 1,526.04 meters squared. And number five, 972.144 meters squared. And I have a couple of, uh, I have a practice activity for you to do. Um, and then there are some check for understanding questions.